I learned of this yesterday when I was passing by. Normally, I monitor the schools, what is going on in the schools. So I saw this was covered with the iron sheet. And I peeped in on the other side, and I saw that there was a huge construction taking place. So this afternoon, we have asked our DG for basic and secondary to come and check. So when we came here, it was unfortunate that again, Sufiri, that we knew uh, all these months and years, again has been sold by the Minister of General Education. And the papers are with me. The papers of these companies that has been given this land to invest. I don't even know why the companies, companies will even accept to destroy education system in our country. There is plenty of land in central Equatoria that can be given by the government. And I don't know what has gone wrong with our minister in central Equatoria to be selling each and every school. Some of public school now, he has turned them to private school. They dismiss our children after four hours and then he takes over from there and charge people to pay and without the knowledge of the governor. This has been going on, there is a resolution, and I think we are taking legal action against the Minister of General Education, because this has become too much. Here are the documents he has been issuing out, selling school from one school to another school. Dubo Commercial is sold, now Sufir is sold, Dubadeh is sold, so Malakia is sold, Bumba is sold. So every place has space for children, for education. And education is the future of this country. It has no value for our minister in Central Equatorial. And this is a decision that the government has taken. So uh, this legal process will be taken against him because this is becoming too much. And I don't know why he was given this responsibility as a minister of education in this state. We need to protect. It is the minister of education that protect public institutions, particularly schools and institutes, but not the minister exercises his power to, to sell the schools. So I, I it is unfortunate people. and we will implement the resolution of the government of South Sudan as it is. Anybody that has sold school will take legal action and we will demolish whatever infrastructure that has been done on the site. Thank you.